In this video, we are going to learn how you can send birthday wishes to customers from CRM. So, you are having your customer details into a CRM software application that is HubSpot CRM. So, first of all, we are going to search for a specific contact details whose birthday falls today. And then we will be sending the birthday wish message to the customer on his WhatsApp number. For that, you need to integrate your HubSpot CRM application with WhatsApp. So, how you can set up this automation using Public Connect? For that, you need to come to my screen. To send birthday wishes to your customers and employees from CRM software application, first we need to log into pabbly, pabbly.com. This is the website of Pabbly. Now, here we can find two options, sign in, sign up free. If you are a new user, you have to simply click on sign up for free button and you can create your own account in just two minutes and you're going to get free task every month. If you're already a user of Pabbly Connect, simply sign in. From the All Apps section, access Pabbly Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabbly Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, click on this plus sign, create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as Send birthday wishes to customers from CRM list. Here you can give the workflow a name as per your requirement and simply click on Create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabbly Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this particular use case, we want to send the birthday wishes to our customers, to our employees from our CRM software application specific list. For that, we are going to capture all the details of the customers or the employees from our CRM application over here in Pabbly Connect. But we want this workflow to run on a regular basis, on every day. So here we have to just come to trigger window and choose the application name as scheduler. Schedule by Pabli. Now it is asking how often you want to run your workflow. So we want this workflow to run every day. So I'm just selecting every day over here and the timing would be 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay. And now let's click on save. And here we can see that the response is received and in the response we have got that this workflow is scheduled every day at 10 a.m. in the morning. So as I'm in India, it has captured the local time. Okay. And in the UTC time zone, it will be 4.30. Okay. So now moving to the next action step. Here we want to capture the details of the customers or the employees whose birthday is today. For that, we need to capture the current date. So come to this action window and here choose the application name as date and time for matter. It is the module of Public Connect. Now here we have to select the action event as current date. Click on connect. And here we have to select the basic format of the date. In which format we want the date. So I want the date to be in DD, MM and YY format. So I'm going to select the same. Include time and response. No, I don't want to include. So I'm just keeping it as false. And let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see the response. We have got the today's date. That is 21st of October 2022. Now we'll be comparing this date with the date of the contacts that we are having in our CRM application. I'm having these many contacts. These are my customers and these are their birth dates. Okay. So we are not going to check the year because in today's date, we have got the current year. So we are going to simply match the date as well as the month. So first of all, we have to just remove this date and month from this current date. For that, scroll down, click on this plus sign to add an action step. And here choose the application name as text formatter. Select the action event as split text. Click on connect. Now here it is asking for the text that needs to be splitted. So here we will be mapping the date that we have got from our date and time formatter. Okay, so let's map it. Let's just click it over here. Come to the date and time formatter response and from the drop down, let us find the date. Okay, now here it is asking separator. Enter the character, special characters are allowed or word separator to split the text on. For space as a separator, use space in the curly braces. So here I'll be giving the separator as slash and here I'll be selecting the segment index as all. And now let's click on save and send test request. And here we can see that we have got date, month and year separately. So now we are going to compare these dates with the date of birth of our contacts in our CRM application. So now let's integrate HubSpot CRM with Pabbly Connect. So click on this plus sign add action step and here choose the application name as HubSpot CRM. Select the action event as search a contact. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with HubSpot CRM. Now here it is connecting Pabbly Connect to HubSpot. So it is asking me to choose an account. So I'm just going to choose my account from here. Authorization successful. And now the HubSpot CRM account is connected to Pabbly Connect. 
Now here it is asking for the matching property. Select matching property example email address. So we want to match date of birth. So I will be selecting the same over here that is date of birth. Now here we have to select the operator. Enter matching operator. So I will be selecting the matching operator contains token. Now here it is asking for the output properties. What do you want in the response? So first of all we want the date of the birth of the customer. Then we want the name of the customer. So we are mapping multiple properties over here. First name along with that last name. After that we want the email address. So let us find the email address. And along with the email address we want the phone number also. So that we can send the WhatsApp message. So let us find the phone number. Okay, so we want all these details in the output properties. And now here it is asking for the search value. What do you want to search? So we want to search the date of birth. Okay, that is 21st of October. So now we are going to map these details that we have got from our text formatter. We have split the date as well as the month. So we'll be mapping these details over here in the same format. So let us come to text formatter. And from the drop down, we are going to simply select the date. Then we'll be giving a slash and after that the month. So we have mapped the date and the month. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first we are going to make this simple response to advanced response. Just because there may be multiple customers who are having the birthday on the same date. So we want the details of all those customers. Okay, that is the reason we have to make this simple response to advanced response. And the details will be captured in the array format altogether over here in Publiconnect. And now we are going to click on save and send test request. And here we can see the response is received. And here in the response, we have got the details of all the customers whose birthday is false today. Okay, so now let's segregate these details in a proper manner. For that, we have to scroll down, click on this plus sign to add an action step. And here choose the application name as iterator. So basically, iterator segregates the data from the array format to the proper row format. Okay, now here we have to map the array. So it is automatically captured. So here we'll be mapping this array that we have got from our previous action response. Okay. And here we can see that it is automatically captured. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay. And here we can see the response is received. And in the response, we have got various details. The ID, we have got the created date and time. We have got the date of birth of the customer, his email address, his first name. Along with that here, we have got his last name, his phone number. So all the properties that we have requested are captured over here. So now we are going to send the birthday wish message to this particular customer on his mobile number. For that, we have to just integrate WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pabli Connect. So let's scroll down, click on this plus sign to add an action step. And here choose the application name as WhatsApp Cloud API. Select the action event as send template message. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. And now here it is asking for the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So to capture all these details, you have to just create a new WhatsApp Cloud API account. So how you can create a new WhatsApp Cloud API account for that, we have created a separate dedicated video. The link is attached in the description box. You can watch the video and you can just create a new account. So I'll just take you to my WhatsApp Cloud API account. And here you can see I am logged in from developers.facebook.com. And here we have to simply click on my apps. Now here you have to just create a new app by clicking on this create app button. Okay, as you can see, I have already created some apps. So I'm just going to click on this app that is my connect messaging app. And here on the left hand side, we can find WhatsApp, click on it and click on getting started. And here we can find temporary access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So you have to simply copy these details. You have to paste in Pebbly connect and simply click on save to create a connection. Now here I want to specify you that this is the temporary access token and it will expire in 23 hours. So if you're using this temporary access token to create a connection, your workflow will stop working in a day. So I would recommend you to generate a permanent access token to create a connection. So how you can create a permanent access token for that also we have created a separate dedicated video. The link is attached in the description box. You can watch the video and you can just generate a new permanent access token. So I'll just take you to my Pabli Connect account. And here I have already created a connection using my previous credentials. So I'm just going to use the same over here. And now let's click on save. And now the WhatsApp Cloud API account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here it is asking for the template. So template is simply a message that we want to send on the WhatsApp number of the customer. As we cannot send the messages directly on WhatsApp, first we need to create a template. We have to get it approved from Facebook. And once it is approved, the same template can be used for sending the messages on WhatsApp. That is the reason we have to select a specific template over here. 
So I'll just take you to my WhatsApp Cloud API account once again. And here we can find to create your own message template, click here. So I'm just going to click on this hyperlink. And here you can see I have created several templates and got it approved. If you want to create a new template, you have to simply click on create template button. And how you can create a template for that also, we have created a separate dedicated video. The link is attached in the description box. You can watch the video and you can create a new template as per your requirement. So now here I'm going to just search for the template that I have already created and got it approved. That is birthday wish. So here you can see I have drafted a message. Happy birthday. I hope your birthday is full of sunshine and rainbows and love and laughter. Sending many good wishes to you on your special day from team. And here I have given number one and number two in the curly braces. So these are the body fields and the values of these body fields are going to change every time. So here I want the customer name or the employee name to be displayed. And here I want my team name to be displayed. So in this particular manner, a message will be generated and it will be delivered to your customer or to your employee on his WhatsApp number. So now we are going to select this particular template that is birthday wish over here in Pabli Connect. So let us find the same birthday wish and now the language code and the template id is automatically captured so we are not going to make any changes that is asking for the recipient mobile number to whom you want to send this particular message and it is mentioned over here enter the recipient mobile number with country code and without the plus sign so here we will be mapping the whatsapp number of the customer whose details we have already received from our iterator response over here okay this was the mobile number so now we'll be mapping it Let's scroll down, click it over here, come to the iterator response and from the drop down, let us find the mobile number. And here you have to map the WhatsApp number of the customer, okay, without the plus sign and with the country code. So here you can see that 91 is already added to the number. So I'm not going to make any changes. But if the country code is missing, you can just add the country code manually over here, okay, in front of the number. Now here it is asking for the header image URL which should be in .png and .jpg format. So here I'm just going to add the image URL and it is in the JPG format. Okay. Now here it is asking for the body field one that is the name of the customer. So here we'll be mapping the name from our iterator response that was demo as well as the last name also that was name itself. Okay. And now here it is asking for the team name. So let us give it as Pabli team. And now let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means the message is delivered to the customer. Let's check it. And here we can find a new message from Pabli Connect. Happy birthday demo name. I hope your birthday is full of sunshine and rain rainbows and love and laughter. Sending many good wishes to you on your special day from Pabli team. So here you can see the things to note are the body fields and the values. The first body field was the customer name, demo name, which is displayed correctly. And the second body field was the team name, that is Pabli, which is displayed correctly over here. And here we can find the image also, that is the birthday image. So in this way, we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine. Okay, now let's move back to Pabli Connect. And let us save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. Now we have set up an automation. This is a one time process. Next time automatically all your contacts will be searched from your CRM software application. And if the birthday falls automatically your customers or your employees are going to receive the birthday wish message on their WhatsApp number through Pabli Connect. So now I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So first we have applied a scheduler over here that this particular workflow should run every day at, at a specific time. Then we have applied the date and time formatter to capture the current date. Then we have extracted the date and month by using the text formatter just because we want to match the date and month with the date of birth of the customers or the employees. Then we have captured the contact details or the customer details whose birthday fall on today's date from our HubSpot CRM application. Then we have used iterate over here just because we have got the birthdays in the array format. It may be uh, multiple persons also who are having the birthday on the same date. So we have segregated the data using the iterator module. And then at last when we have got all the details of the customer, automatically a birthday wish message is sent to the customer on his WhatsApp number. And in this way we have learned that how we can send birthday wishes to our customers or employees from our CRM software application using Pabli Connect. Thank you. 
So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. In case you have any queries, you can just post your queries at Pabli Forum. Our team will surely get back to you. This is our Pabli Connect website. And to know the latest updates and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is Pabli.connect. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is attached in the description box. You can clone this workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.